Hi guys, it's Jason here with another video for you guys. And today we are going to preview the Washington State Cougars that sit at 4-3 and three over our 1-3 and three in the conference. They travel down to Eugene to play the 11th ranked Oregon Ducks that sit 4-0 in the conference, 6-1 and one overall that has a big lead in the Pac-12 North. Um, it's going to be an interesting game. The Cougars have won four in a row in these in this series. Morgan leads the overall series 49-42 and seven tights. Oregon has won eight in a row. Um, it's the biggest streak 07-14. 2014 was the last time Oregon won. And I watched to State has smashed the um, biggest winning streak in the series. Um, we all know Washington State could throw the ball. Um, Anthony Gordon, 2,900 yards, nearly 300, 3,000 yards, 29 touchdowns, 7 INTs, and threw 9 touchdowns um, in the loss to UCLA. It was a loss to UCLA. Uh, UCLA was up by 30 points in that game late in the third quarter, and they um, they lost the ball game. Obviously, the um, the running back Bogle, 512 yards, six touchdowns. Um, he's a very good wide receiver running back out of the backfield, and Winston. The leading wide receiver, 578 yards touchdown and nine touchdowns, 778 yards and nine touchdowns. This Cougars offense, 42 points per game, while Hogan's only averaging 35 points per game. Defensively, it's a different story. The Cougars are giving up 28 points per game, Oregon. 11.8 that is second behind Utah um, and well Washington State averages 532 yards and Oregon's only averaging 457 uh, 440 per pass in the game for the Cougars 283 Oregon's Little more balance than Harrison, 173 was 92 for the Cougars. So, this has the making of being a high scoring game, high scoring affair. Um, but I think Oregon with the edge is on the defense. I think Oregon's defense is better than Washington State's defense. And I think it's going to show. Uh, I think the Defense for Oregon got a little embarrassed against Washington, um, and they they got the um, butts kicking in that first half. They gave up 21 at 28 points in that first half, and really, really made you question about this Oregon defense. It's there for real. I think they'll come out this week and really be focused on the defensive end. Um, Lono, the corner for Oregon that got dinged up against the Huskies last week. He's expected to play Troy Dye um, broke, his, broke his thumb for Oregon. Um, Brendan Scooter has transferred. Um, he is entering the transfer portal, so that's the wide receiver that's um, gone for the year. Um, they've already lost Brandon. Um, uh, they they've already lost Jacob Whedon for the year, Cam McCormick for the year. So okay, good. Uh, sorry, I just read something on ESPN. Me as a Cowboy fan, I like the news on ESPN. So, moving forward, sorry about that distraction. Um, but I think for 
the for the cougars, it's really a mindset. You have had your way against Oregon the last four years. Um, can they do it this year? That's going to be the biggest question for Oregon. Offensively, they have to get to a quicker start. Last year, they scored only seven points in the first half. I've been the close. Um, they have to get off to a quicker start. I believe they will coming off of a big home win, and it's going to be a night game. A 7:30 kickoff on ESPN, the last game of the day on ESPN, which I I kind of like because I get to sit and watch all the games across the country. I think Oregon's going to get this victory, but it's going to be a fought, hard fought victory. And you look at Oregon's schedule, they got the Cougars, the Trojans, uh, and they got the Lockets, the Sun Devils, and the Beavers. Uh, five games left on this schedule. And they're all winnable, but yet again, they're all losable for Oregon. Um, so, Oregon just has to come out, play like they can. Defensively, they have to do a better job on a first down. Washington State got a lot of Washington got a lot of yards on a first down, um, and that's why they had a lot of success. But for Oregon, has to mix up the coverages. You're not going to confuse Anthony Gordon, but you could make them make him hold the ball a little bit longer. That's what you got to do against these air raid teams. Um, he doesn't turn over the ball that much. The offensive line does a very good job on protecting him. And that's going to be a very hard job for Oregon. So, it should be a fun game up in Eugene, Oregon. Washington State in Eugene. And that's going to be a 7.30 kickoff. So once again, my name's been Jason, 7.30 ESPN um, on ESPN, 7.30 on ESPN. So once again, my name's been Jason. Have a great day, and like always, go Ducks.